Hello everyone! Today I am going to be making a review of the Thomas Wooden Railway Duck Pond Crossing. This item was first released in 2016 and was retired next year, likely because of the Thomas Wood A design. Uh, I have already opened uh, my uh, version, but I have kept the box so that I could show it in the review. The box is uh, pretty normal stuff, just the uh, usual box from this era, except it has, um, it's open so that you can uh, see the play feature in action when you come across this item in the store. And the play feature is this duck crossing the tracks. Uh, an interesting thing about this box is how big it is, because it makes the item look much bigger than it actually is. Uh, so here is duck uh, next to the box, and he makes it look very big, but then when I remove the actual duck pond crossing and throw away the box, it's a lot smaller. And now the duck pond crossing itself. As I showed before, this item's play feature is this loud duck crossing the train tracks, and that's pretty much everything. The rest of this item is just, well, the item itself. Uh, on the back uh, you can see that there is this uh, barn, I guess, or the front of it. And here is the opposite side of the barn with Fire McCall and also some ducks. Uh, and this item is a little bit elevated so that the mechanism of the duck crossing could fit inside. Um, I'm not going to show the play feature again, I think you've seen it. This item also comes with its own uh, special piece, which is this sign. And there isn't a lot you can say about it, it's just a piece of wood with uh, some painting on the top of ducks. Um, and the duck pond crossing itself, while nice, isn't really that well designed because sometimes engines have troubles going over it and away from it because of how steep the hills are. So I'm just going to connect it to some tracks. Uh, here I've used a regular straight piece and here I've used a curve. Mm. And I'm again going to show Duck on this item. So, when the trains go... Uh, well, I've accidentally shown another issue with this item, so I'm just... When the trains go down here, they sometimes get stuck here. And of course this isn't an issue because you can just pick them up or push them. But... It's still weird, and also this isn't a really smooth transition from the previous piece to the hill. You can see that the wheels, are, the middle wheels are kind of lifted, and same thing happens here. The transition to the flat top from the hill isn't really smooth, and the same thing happens when the chains go down. And Duck doesn't really have any issues here with uh, entering this curve because he is a small tank engine. But longer engines like Daisy sometimes have issues. So this time it. Oh no, it didn't work. Uh, now it works. But when she goes back. This time it worked. See, this is another thing, it's a little bit inconsistent, but yes, it happened again, so... Mm. I wasn't even trying to cause this accident. And an important thing to note about this is that uh, I haven't had that many accidents with Daisy now, because I'm holding her, which means I can guide her wheels a little, but when someone else is pulling Daisy, I can no longer guide her, so...
I think you see the issue. And also I can push her. This worked, but what about from this direction? No, oh, this also worked. Interesting. But this still causes issues. So... If you're not interested in the duck pond crossing, I think you don't need to go out of your way to get it. Because while it's a nice piece, it's not really something that you would want to have express trains going over because it's just going to cause accidents almost every time a train goes over it. So only buy this if you want to. And if you do want to get this, I recommend it because it's still a nice item and the play feature is pretty fun. Um, I'm just going to put a sign here. This is a very strong duck. Uh, I'm not sure if it's strong enough. Oh, it is. It can also cause accidents this way. Good duck. So, yes, that is about everything. See you in the next video.